All right, well, we have a new uh, customer who's made an order here for uh, an XRC-1000 and a BPR-1000 bio pellet reactor, and I told him I would shoot a little video just showing him how these two devices would be connected. So um, as part of his order, um, he's ordered this Eheim pump here. This is an Eheim Compact Plus uh, 5000. That's going to be feeding water up to the protein skimmer inlet, which will be controlled by this valve here. So basically the way we have the manifold set up, here you can see the T-fitting that goes from the bio pellet reactor. So this pump will be pulling water from the sump and pumping it up to the protein skimmer. The flow to the skimmer will be controlled with this valve here. And then the bio pellet reactor will can either pull water from the sump, if it sits externally, it can pull through this fitting here, or you can use this part um, as an option. And that just replaces this fitting here. And that way it can sit in the sump and pull water directly from the sump. So once the water goes through the reactor, it comes out the top here, which is the flow is controlled by this valve, and you've seen this on other videos of ours. So that water flows out and comes into here. And this is that skimmer intake manifold that we've seen um, and showed in other videos that normally attaches to the protein skimmer pump. But since this is an XRC unit, which it needs to be fed from a separate pump, we have this separate pump dedicated to the protein skimmer. And here we have our bio pellet effluent going right into that intake. So this ensures all water going to the protein skimmer uh, and from the bio pellet reactor goes right into the skimmer. So basically that's the layout. Um, I did want to mention a few other things. Um, a little quick tip is, uh, you can see we don't have all the pumps mounted for all these the five pumps that go on this protein skimmer. But um, it's very important to remember that before you, when you install the pumps here, you make sure that this uh, elbow inside this directional nozzle needs to be pointed up. That way it'll allow water to purge through the system and there won't be an air gap in the pump. Because if you don't turn that elbow up and it's pointed down or sometimes even sideways, air will get trapped inside the pump in between these fittings. And if you plug it in, it'll run dry and it can burn out the motor. So, Make sure that this elbow is either removed or pointed upwards when you first start the protein skimmer up. And then once the pumps are flooded, you can shut the skimmer off, go inside and then adjust these. And I would generally start with them down. Once the skimmer is set up, I would start with them pointing straight down. And these are gonna help you to control the foam level in the body. So typically speaking, you want the foam level to be about an inch or so above that pipe. All those pipes there are pulling water up to the pumps and you don't want them to be pulling in air. So basically the water level should be, I'm looking at the level here, should be about right there at the lowest, the bubble level. So the bubbles will be from here up. They, they may be higher, they may be you know, in this range, but you don't want them below this point right here. So anyhow, if you have any questions about this uh, protein skimmer setup, or if you're interested in a setup like this, or if you have a setup like this and you have questions, please don't hesitate to call us at 707-733-3411. You can also send us an email at sales at reefdynamics.com. Please be sure to provide some details about the system you have or what you're interested in, and we will get back to you as quickly as possible. You can also visit us on the web at reefdynamics.com, and you can watch more of these videos on our YouTube channel at reefdynamicsmfg. Thanks for tuning in, and have a fantastic day.